The Holocaust in the independent state of Croatia refers primarily to the genocide of Jews, but sometimes also include that of Serbs, the Serbian genocide, and Romani Poragmos. During World War II within the independent state of Croatia, a fascist puppet state ruled by the Ustaši regime, that included most of the territory of modern day Croatia, the whole of modern day Bosnia and Herzegovina, and the eastern part of Sirmia. 90% Serbia. of Croatian Jews were exterminated in Ustaši run concentration camps like Jasonovic and others, while a considerable number of Jews were rounded up and turned over by the Ustaši for extermination in Nazi Germany. Background On 25 March 1941, Prince Paul of Yugoslavia signed the Tripartite Pact, allying the Kingdom of Yugoslavia with the Axis powers. Prince Paul was overthrown, and a new anti-German government under Peter II and Dusan Simovic took power. The new government withdrew its support for the Axis, but did not repudiate the Tripartite Pact. Nevertheless, Axis forces, led by Nazi Germany invaded Yugoslavia in April 1941. The independent state of Croatia was proclaimed by the Ustase, a Croatian fascist, racist, ultra-nationalist and terrorist organization, on 10 April 1941. Within the new state lived approximately 40,000 Jews, only 9,000 of whom would ultimately survive the war. Already prior to the war the Ustase forged close ties to fascist Italy and Nazi Germany. In 1933 the Ustase presented the 17 Principles, which proclaimed the uniqueness of the Croatian nation, promoted collective rights over individual rights, and declared that people who were not Croat by race and blood, would be excluded from political life. In 1936, the Ustase leader, Ante Pavelic, wrote in The Croat Question. Today, practically all finance and nearly all commerce in Croatia is in Jewish hands. This became possible only through the support of the state, which thereby seeks, on one hand, to strengthen the pro-Serbian Jews, and on the other, to weaken Croat national strength. The Jews celebrated the establishment of the so-called Yugoslav state with great joy, because a national Croatia could never be as useful to them as a multinational Yugoslavia, for in national chaos lies the power of the Jews. In fact, as the Jews had foreseen, Yugoslavia became, in consequence of the corruption of official life in Serbia, a true Eldorado of Jewry. The entire press in Croatia is also in Jewish Masonic hands. Topic: The Holocaust. Topic: Anti-Semitic legislation and start of persecution. The main race laws in the independent state of Croatia were adopted and signed by the Ustase leader Ante Pavelic on 30 April 1941, the Legal Decree on Racial Origins Zakinska Odredba o Rasnoj Pripadnosti and the Legal Decree on the Protection of Aryan Blood and the Honor of the Croatian People Zakinska Odredba o Zestiti Ariski Krvii Kasti Hrvatskog Naroda The Legal decree on the nationalization of the property of Jews and Jewish companies was declared on the 10th of October 1941. Actions against Jews began immediately after the independent state of Croatia was founded. On 10 to 11 April 1941, a group of prominent Jews in Zagreb was arrested by the Ustase and held for ransom. On the 13th of April, the same was done in Osijek, where Ustase and Volksdutcher mobs destroyed the synagogue and Jewish graveyard. This procedure was repeated in 1941 and 1942 several times with groups of Jews. Topic: <laughs> Anti-Semitic propaganda. The Ustase immediately initiated intensive anti-Semitic propaganda. A day after the signing of the main race laws on 30 April 1941, the newspaper of the Ustase movement, Hrvatski Narod Croatian Nation, published across its entire front page, "...the blood and honor of the Croatian people protected by special provisions." Two days later, the newspaper Novi List concluded that Croatians must "...be more alert than any other ethnic group to protect their racial purity. We need to keep our blood clean of the Jews." The newspaper also wrote that Jews are synonymous with treachery, cheating, greed, immorality and foreignness, and therefore, 
Wide swaths of the Croatian people always despised the Jews and felt towards them natural revulsion." Nova Hrvatska New Croatia added that according to the Talmud, "...this toxic, hot well spring of Jewish wickedness and malice, the Jew is even free to kill Gentiles." One of the main claims of Eustace propaganda was that the Jews have always been against an independent Croatian state and against the Croatian people. In April 1941 the newspaper Hrvatski Narod the Croatian people accused Jews of being responsible for the "...many failures and misfortunes of so many Croatian people," which led the Poglavnik the Eustace leader Ante Pavelic to "...eradicate these evils." A Spremnost article stated that the Eustace movement defines "...Judaism as one of the greatest enemies of the people." Some in the Catholic Church joined the anti-Semitic propaganda. Thus the Catholic Bishop of Sarajevo, Ivan Sarek, published in his diocesan newspaper that, "...the movement to free the world of Jews, represents the movement for the restoration of human dignity. Omniscient and omnipotent God is behind this movement." And in July 1941, the Franciscan priest, Dionysus Jurasev, in Novi List wrote that, "...it is no longer a sin to kill a seven-year-old child." Topic. Eustace concentration camps Already in April 1941 the Eustace established the concentration camps Danica near Kaprivnica, Krushitsa concentration camp near Travnik and Karestanik, where along with communists and other political opponents, the Eustace imprisoned Jews. In May 1941, the Eustace rounded up 165 Jewish youth in Zagreb, ages 17 to 25, most of them members of the Jewish sports club Maccabi, and sent them to the Danica concentration camp. All but three were killed by the Eustace. In May and June, the Eustace established new camps, primarily for Jews who came to Croatia as refugees from Germany and countries which Germany had previously occupied, and some of these were quickly killed. Also arrested and sent to the Eustace camps were larger groups of Jews from Zagreb June 22, Bihać June 24, Karlovac June 27, Sarajevo, Varazdin, Bjelovar, etc. On 8 July 1941 the Eustace ordered that all arrested Jews be sent to Gospik, from where they took the victims to death camps Jadovno on Velbit, and Slano on the island of Pag, where they carried out mass executions. The historian Paul Mojzes lists 1,998 Jews, 38,010 Serbs, and 88 Croats killed at Jadovno and related execution grounds, among them 1,000 children. Other sources generally offer a range of 10,000 to 68,000 deaths at the Jadovno system of camps, with estimates of the number of Jewish deaths ranging from several hundred to 2,500 to 2,800. In August 1941, the Eustace established the Jasonovic concentration camp, one of the largest in Europe. This included the Stara Gradiska concentration camp for women and children. The United States Holocaust Memorial Museum USHMM in Washington, D.C. presently estimates that the Eustace regime murdered between 77,000 and 99,000 people in Jasonovic system of camps between 1941 and 1945. The Jasonovic memorial site quotes a similar figure of between 80,000 and 100,000 victims. Of these, the United States Holocaust Museum says that at least 20.000 were Jews. The Jasonovic Memorial Site lists the individual names of 83,145 victims, including 13,116 Jews, 16,173 Roma, 47,627 Serbs, 4,255 Croats, 1,128 Bosnian Muslims, etc. Of the total 83,145 named Jasonovic victims, 20,101 were children under the age of 12, and 23,474 were women. Other events The destruction of the Sephardi Il Cal Grande synagogue in Sarajevo was carried out by Nazi German soldiers and their local Eustace allies soon after their arrival in the city on 15 April. The Sarajevo Haggadah was the most important artifact which survived this period, smuggled out of Sarajevo and saved from the Nazis and Eustace by the chief librarian of the National Museum, Dervis Korkut. The demolition of the Zagreb synagogue was ordered by the Eustace mayor Ivan Werner and was carried out from 10 October 1941 to April 1942. 
The two Jewish football clubs in the state, Zegisk Maccabi Zagreb and Zisk Maccabi Osijek, were banned in 1941. In April 1942, the Jews of Osijek were forced to build a Jewish settlement at Tenja, into which they were herded along with Jews from the surrounding region. Approximately 3,000 Jews were moved to Tenja in June and July 1942. From Tenja, 200 Jews were transported to the Jasonovic concentration camp and 2,800 Jews were transported to the Auschwitz concentration camp. In February 1942, the Eustace Interior Minister, Andrea Artukovic, in a speech to the Croatian parliament, declared that the independent state of Croatia through its decisive action has solved the so called Jewish question. This necessary cleansing procedure finds its justification not only from a moral, religious and social point of view, but also from the national political point of view, it is international Jewry associated with international communism and Freemasonry, that sought and still seeks to destroy the Croatian people." The speech was accompanied by shouts of approval Yes. From the parliamentary benches, on 5 May 1943, Nazi SS leader Heinrich Himmler paid a short visit to Zagreb in which he held talks with Ante Pavelic. Starting on 7 May, a roundup of the remaining Jews in Zagreb was carried out by the Gestapo under the command of Franz Abromit. During this period, Archbishop Stepanak offered the head rabbi in Zagreb Miroslav Shalom Freiberger help to escape the roundup, which he ultimately declined. The operation lasted for the following week, and resulted in the capture of 1,700 Jews from Zagreb and 300 from the surrounding area. All of these people were taken to the Auschwitz concentration camp. After the capitulation of Italy on 8 September 1943, Nazi Germany annexed the Croat populated Italian provinces of Pula and Rijeka into its operational zone Adriatic coast. On 25 January 1944, the Germans demolished the Jewish synagogue in Rijeka. The region of Metamerje had been annexed by the Kingdom of Hungary in 1941. In April 1944, the Jews of Metamerje were taken to a camp in Nagykaniza where they were held until their transport to Auschwitz. An estimated 540 Metamerje Jews were murdered at Auschwitz, while 29 were murdered at Jasonovic. Other ethnicities Serbs. <inaudible> 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 Many historians describe the Ustasha regime's mass killings of Serbs as meeting the definition of genocide. Some racist laws, brought from Germany, in addition to Jews and Roma, were applied to the Serbs. Vladimir Zerjevic estimates that 322,000 Serbs were killed in the independent state of Croatia, out of a total population of 1.8 million Serbs. Thus, one in six Serbs were killed, which represents the highest percentage killed in Europe, after the Jews and Roma. Of these Zerjevic estimates that about 78,000 Serbs were killed at Jasonovic and other Ustasha camps. According to the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum in Washington, D.C., between 320,000 and 340,000 Serbs were killed in the NDH. Roma The Ustasha regime launched the persecution of the Roma in May 1942. Whole families were arrested and transported to the Jasonovic concentration camp, where they were immediately, or within a few months, killed. Estimates of the number of victims vary from 16,000 this figure is given Vladimir Zerjevic to 40,000. The Jasonovic Memorial at Jasonovic, Croatia lists the names of 16,173 Roma killed at that concentration camp. Due to their way of life, many more victims are probably unrecorded. The German historian Alexander Korb and the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum in Washington, D.C., both estimate at least 25,000 casualties among the Roma, which represents nearly the total Roma population in the independent state of Croatia. <laughs> <laughs> Abolition of racial laws On 5 May 1945, the legal decree on the equalization of members of the NDH based on racial origin Zakonska odredba o izjednakovanju pripadnika NDHS obzorom na rasnu pripadnost was declared which repealed the racial laws enacted over the course of the war. Number of victims 
The United States Holocaust Memorial Museum lists the following number of victims in the independent state of Croatia. 32,000 Jews, with 12,000 to 20,000 Jews killed at the Jasonovic system of camps. At least 25,000 Roma, or virtually the entire Roma population in the independent state of Croatia. Between 320,000 and 340,000 Serbs, most killed by the Ustasha authority. Slavko Goldstein estimates that approximately 30,000 Jews were killed from the independent state of Croatia, with approximately 12,790 of those killed in Croatia. Vladimir Zerzhevik's demographics research produced an estimate of 25,800 to 26,700 Jewish victims, of which he estimates that 19,000 were killed by the Ustasha in Croatia and Bosnia, and the rest abroad. Topic. By site The Jasonovic Memorial Site maintains the names of 13,116 Jews killed at the Jasonovic concentration camp. Concentration camps Jadovno Concentration Camp Jasonovic Concentration Camp Sisak Children's Concentration Camp Stara Gradiska Concentration Camp Lobor Concentration Camp Sajmist Concentration Camp run by German forces in Serbia Tenja Concentration Camp Notable people Topic. Victims Lee Deutsch, Croatian Jewish child actress Kalmi Bara, Bosnian Jewish scholar Laura Papo Bohoreta, Bosnian Jewish feminist writer and Ladino scholar Sava Samanovic, Serb painter Topic. Survivors Amiel Shamrani Branko Lustig Esther Gitman Isak Samakovlia Topic Other Diana Budasavljevic Topic Righteous Among the Nations Over 100 Croatians have been recognized as righteous among the nations they include Zarko Doliner and Mate Yuyevic. Topic. See also. Ante Pavelic, Mile Budak, Miroslav Filipovic, Catholic clergy involvement with the Eustace. Topic. References. Topic. Sources Topic. External links Holocaust era in Croatia at the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum